so I had some questions about how to use um, Sharpies. So these are my black ones. And in this corner, I want to say these are the colored ones. Um, so, and then I have like brown and white as well. So I have like all the colors and I have the brown and white. I do not use these, these ones as much as I use the black and white. So I'm going to show you some things with the black and white. So I have these sharpened and when I'm done playing art or whatever I'm doing, one of the things I like to do is sharpen them before I'm done. That way I can always come back into, enter into a creative space without having to stop and sharp, sharpen these. And I just threw in another box of new ones because some of these, they get really, I use them all the way, I use them all the way to the end and then I'm done with them. But, but I, I really love this Dibolo Owl is probably my favorite this one right here and that's what these all are i think sometimes i accidentally get a different one um i thought there was a different one in here anyways maybe they're not maybe i got rid of the other ones that were not the all but anyways so um i, I sharpen them and then i'm ready to go so i'm going to just use some sketch paper just to show you it's kind of dirty and grungy it needs to be used for background paper anyways so I'm just going to show you this so you can you can use the tip of it and make a fine or the side of it can make um, some cool marks the other thing that I like to do is make marks so like I'll go through and like make some dots some and I'm going to show you what I do next so this doesn't look like much but pretty soon, and so like that side thing, I like to take and go like this on my X's, like use the edge a little bit, make some funky marks with it. And um, so now I'm gonna show you what I do next. I need, uh, I need, a. there we go. I'm gonna use a gouache brush for this. So I just taking a, a brush and putting some water on it. And I'm just adding water to it and letting it do its thing. But like, look at these. And um, I always use the excess too. Like I, I dab here and then I play in it a little bit to, I don't know how to explain it. Because there's like excess sometimes and really dark. So like I have room to add more marks with when I dip into this, but I love that. And then I love any kind of mark making with the Sibillo. I think it's beautiful and it adds a grungy look to it. So here is, there we go. So there's that. The other thing, and so like I let the water sit and then I go back and move it around a little bit too, because sometimes it takes a minute for the water to activate it. Another way that I like to use them is to dip the pencil directly into the water and then like mark with it. So you dip it completely in and mark with it. Then I take the um, wet brush and we'll go right in again and just kind of loosen up that mark. Um, faces, I like doing faces with the Stabilo because it keeps me loose. Like I, I just play and adventure because I think too much when it comes to faces. Like I, I really do. I, I can't figure out a way to just not overthink these. And so like, I just, I love a Stabilo for the ability to loosen up. And so what I do is I'll play here, like here, and, but it just, there. Not the greatest face. I usually have to really think about my faces when I draw them, but you get the idea. It keeps them loose and free and they're just it's nice to play this way especially whenever you're doing something for me like whenever I'm doing something that challenges me I use a stabilo because it helps keep me like loosen me up and and not it doesn't 
it helps me, it gives me the ability not to overthink. And I just love playing with the Stabilo. So there's that. And then another thing I like to do, um, hold on. I need to make sure you can see that. You can see that there. Okay, so another thing I like to do, I noticed after I posted this that I didn't do it. But normally I'll go over um, after I'm done putting stuff down. So like I will go in and add marks with the Stabilo and add some water to them. Like I, like here, I didn't add the water to the circles, but I just, so you don't have to add water afterwards, but sometimes I do. And anyways, that's going to be, let me put that there. So this one, if you notice, I didn't add Stabilo to it. And I really like the contrast that Stabilo Stabilo gives stuff. So like a lot of times I'll go over around the words, around the images. I will put some circles around the, the um, paint marks, just kind of adding some depth to things. And like here, adding here, I just think it looks so nice just to kind of do this with it. I use them in so many different ways here. So like, let's see, and then then watch. So you can't really see it right now, but as I add water to it, you'll be able to, it'll bring it out and you'll be able to see it better. And it adds some contrast to the images that I've laid down. So over here, I didn't hit it there, so I'll go there. Um, so I really love to do this. And then go over the, Need a little more water here. I think I think black. It just like especially when you need black in a in an image. Like it's nice to have it. Like right there, it's kind of. Um, boring in that corner there so I'll just add a little bit of this and I can even it's so like where there's white spots and I kind of want something different and again I've already posted this one but I'm still going to use it as the example of what it can actually do it can take I really love this layout and so because I loved how it was stitched over the top of her face. I just think she's beautiful. I don't know. I just loved loved it and so I just left it. But normally I do this so it's kind of fun that I get to go back and kind of add some marks to this one after, after the fact. So I'll go into these white places and I will add more marks to where it's kind of bare. Not that I don't mind white space because I don't mind it but... I don't know, just something extra to do. And, and there you go. I'm going to show you the next thing. Okay, so another thing that I do is, so like we're working on this background paper, and I'll just set and add a bunch of random marks with my um, Stabilo. I'll just kind of just go through, because what I do when I'm done with this paper is I will do all kinds of marks on it, I'll paint on it. And then in the end, what I normally do is I I dye it. I um, will put like coffee or um, inks or whatever, but it's nice that the underneath has like these random marks. And when I cut it up, it, um, see how fast that thing? That's why I like having a bunch, cause I will go through at least three just for doing this like you'll you'll see that in a second so I'm just kind of adding some marks just kind of everywhere adding just some that was like I don't know I don't worry to see it kind of goes they go fast is what I'm trying to say and then again with the x's because I do the x's on the side of my stabilo they they eat up a lot quickly she needs a flower. Everybody needs a flower. So let's just add a cute little just doodle of a flower. And then we'll put flowers in her hair. And then just kind of add some more hair to her. Um, cheek marks. She will probably get caught up and won't even know she's there, but I'm still doing it. So um, 
I'm just adding all these marks. And then, okay, I'm gonna have to go through another one. Um, let's do the brown. Cause um, it, when I dye it with coffee too, the brown is nice to have in there. So I just add some marks. So I just kind of make sure, I make sure this whole page is covered. Now I'm gonna speed it up for the last part of this, just so that you can just see me do this. And um, I'll go in with it with paint, water, all kinds of stuff. And these marks on the bottom really add some dimension to it. It already takes away the boldness of a white page. I am gonna flip it over and make more marks because I never know which side I'm gonna use. So I'll just speed up through this whole process.
Okay, so here is how they turned out. They're not completely dry, but they're dry enough that I was going to show you um, <clears throat> both sides of those. And I tear them in different sizes because sometimes I like to use them in journals and sometimes I just like to use them in journals. So, and I'll go through and add more marks to these whenever I use them. Or like sometimes I'll take a stack of this and I'll sit at the couch and I'll just add doodles to all of this. And sometimes they became become subjects and sometimes they're just backgrounds. So, but I love the way, so the key is to not let this paper sit wet very long. So I lay it out and dab it with paper towels. I use these bamboo paper towels and um, I just reuse them. This will dry and I'll um, use it again. And I just basically dab off all the water and let them dry and they um, and drape them to where that they um, have airflow and they dry fairly quickly. But if you leave them in the water, it's gonna break down the paper too much. So like this is a quick process. Do not let them sit in the water. Anyways, <clears throat> excuse me. So here is the finished product of these. These, this was the background underneath when I was working on this. I just threw it in just because it had some marks on it and I thought, you know, I'll just start working on it. So this is like a good base layer for adding more and more and more. And then um, normally I would probably add more stencils to this, but I was just kind of trying to do it quickly. And then this is the paper that I laid them on when I was um, taking them out of the water. And so the drippings kind of got on it. And what I do is I just crinkle this and let it dry. And then it'll also make a good um, base layer for some grungy papers. And so even just like laying this stuff down here because they're a little wet, I tried to dry the puddles off. But anyways, they're a little wet, so it's on this here, but so this makes a good base layer for the next thing. So um, anyways, this is what is left. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want more of these videos, subscribe and, and I will, um, and it will notify you whenever I add the next one. But I'm gonna do um, a few more of these that show you what to do with the Stabilos because I have a lot of questions about it. So me and the Stabilos will be back. So be looking for that. If you'd like to know more about me, you can go to lisiaontheart.com and subscribe to my news newsletter. You can also find me on Teachable with, for my classes and Instagram at lisiaontheart. I am also on YouTube, but you can find that on my website as well. Yeah.